Okay, here we go. Um, so, Jen, are you ready? Uh-huh. Um, this is 110LB, a rescue Cortana. Yeah, Jen, before you start, this is like the climax of the game. Obviously, you've been captured, and now Master Chief is rescuing you. So. Okay. It's good to see you, Chief. I do know how to pick them. Um, fans have been waiting three years for this moment where the Chief finally rescues Cortana. So okay. all the fanboys across the world are going to be waiting. Fanboys? You do know what I mean, right? I had to admit, I didn't exactly. The only way to stop the flood is to stop... I've been doing the voice of the AI character Cortana for six years now, from the Pillar of Autumn to the Portals of High Charity. Now make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. But the truth is, I'd never really gotten to know the fans we make the game for. Claude Herrera. Claude Herrera. Where do I find him? Within hours, I was on a plane heading east. My goal, to meet the fans I'd been hearing about. Why'd they care so much? After six years and three games, it was time to find out. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm looking for Claude. I guess that would be me. Fantastic. I'm Jen from Bungie. Oh. My search started in New York City. When it comes to Halo fans, Claude Herrera knows everyone. Modders and noobs. I'd heard about them all, but I'd never met them. I wasn't sure exactly what to expect, but I was about to get an introduction. You have built a website that keeps everybody informed of what's going on. There's a whole section on fan fiction, people writing stories based in the Halo universe. We have wow. drawings people have done. There's a strategy guide that somebody's put together with all sorts of movies and tips. So you're basically the conduit for the fans. That's what I try to be. That's it's a, awesome. It's a bodysuit and then she paints herself. There's a guy who painted his entire garage with Halo scenes. Just this week, somebody stopped by our forum to say they had met online playing Halo. They are now engaged and they're going to have a Halo wedding. <laughs> Somebody sent in a bunch of pictures of a real AR-5 they were building from Halo. An AR-5, which you know, stands for? Assault rifle. <laughs> Clearly, I had a lot to learn. Are you going to take me up to this land party Absolutely. into the realm of dude? These are the real fans, from the hardcore multiplayers to passionate campaigners. Hi. We played last night until very, very late, and we started again this morning. Is this normal? Is this how you? This is what it's normally like. I'm a virgin land goer. Do you see my mind being blown right now? What makes a true Halo fan? Is it the ranking, the amount of forum postings, or the hours logged online? Miguel Chavez is one of the earliest Bungie fans. He's been bringing players together from around the world for years. We've had gatherings here where people come from Sweden, from England, from Scotland. The thing that you think is great about it is this kind of stuff. Is this kind of stuff, this yeah. Kind of the fact that you can be in the same room with someone, they can kill you, and instead of you just simply yelling at the TV, you can go right to them and elbow them. This is overwhelming. Yes, it is. It is. It's the fans themselves that keeps me coming back all the time. It's the creations people come up with and the love that they show through their own creativity that makes me want to put up new posts every day. According to Claude, there are more than 7 million fans out there. The game has even spawned three best-selling novels. I decided to start with the man who wrote the book, literally. The author of the Halo bestsellers, Eric Nyland. He also began as a fan himself. I was working at Microsoft Games as a writer, and someone said, hey, Eric, you want to write for this new Halo game that's coming out soon? I took a look at Halo, and it blew my mind. Right? It was like the best video game ever. And so I said, yeah, sign me up for doing a Halo novel. I also worked on Halo. What did uh, you do? I, uh, I'm a voice actor. No way. I voiced Cortana no in way. Halo, yes. It's the stick it. Uh, bet, bet you can't, you can't st stick, stick it. it. Now yes. I recognize your voice. Oh my God. So my question to you, or w what I'm interested in is You're when famous. I- You're famous. So are you. <laughs> How much are you influenced by what the fans want? While we were writing the book, a lot of people were guessing, or the latest one, what the plot would be. And eventually, most of them kind of pieced parts of it together. If you look in the forums, it was like someone had stolen my outline. They're this huge collectively thinking organism. You know, if they ever got organized really well, I'd never have to write a novel. They'd just figure it all out. Could they take over the world? They probably could. Some fans write about Halo. Some make their own art and movies. I had heard about Machinima, fans who create videos using actual game footage. Each month, hundreds of new ones are posted online. There are even entire clans devoted to movie making. 
So I traveled down to Texas to meet some guys who had turned this into a full-time career. Action. The men of Rooster Teeth and their Halo comedy, Red vs. Blue. Everybody loves Red vs. Blue. Everybody loves Red vs. Blue? You know that. I think there's a couple animators out there that aren't too fond of Red vs. Blue. That's just my feeling. So. Uh, oh, really? Why? Because we take their animations and do stupid stuff with them. Like, they spend hours making the Master Chief crouch in a realistic manner, and then we use it to make some obscene joke. And one, and two, and three, and four. Good, work those hammies. How would you rate the humiliation factor? High. Another vital test of mission critical technology. Can we stop now? Why Halo? Because we were playing it about 17 hours a day. I think we were looking at the Warthog and trying to figure out why they called it a Warthog. We were like, why are we in a video game and just staring at this Jeep? Why aren't we killing each other? I mean, it's kind of like anything. I mean, filmmakers who make stuff, they just make whatever their world is. Our world at the time was Halo. Can I be it. in Red vs. Blue? Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you want to be in Red vs. Blue? Yeah. Might be a step down, don't you think? <laughs> you know, I auditioned for Cortana. One more core to go. Nice. Nice, like that? You wanna have a smackdown? One more core to go. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. that's rough. See, that's she why she got the part. Sam. Son of a bitch. I do have a certain knack for doing Cortana's voice. What I didn't realize is that I'd actually inspired fans to do their own creations. There have been hundreds of Halo-related songs posted, and as I was about to find out, some of them are even about my character. Matt Cox! Hey! Hi. Hi. So you've written a song called, you've written many songs. Mm -hmm. One of them in particular is Death of Cortana. Death of Cortana. Which created a lot of buzz and got everybody really scared. <laughs> After reading the Eric Nyland books, uh, and uh, Cortana started to malfunction a little. It was like, wow, maybe they're kind of uh, giving hints to what's going to happen with her. Kind of starts off a little slow. Right. Kind of builds up to... To the tragedy? The How did she in. die, you think? I think she's just so full of too much information and trying to process too much, she just eventually kind of implodes. Okay. Yeah. You have kind of a dialogue, you right. know, with Cortana through the it's entire game. Head. So you've spent hours, you know, listening to her, so. Right. And what does she sound like? Just like a normal, a normal girl that you would just kind of talk with and be friends with. Someone you'd hang out with. Yeah. Someone who'd come over to your house and hang out with you. And what kind of things does Cortana say? You sound say? like her. Do I? Does she say things I did, like why did yank I, me? Or, it's ridiculous what? that I did not realize I was talking to Jen Taylor the entire time. <laughs> All right, I'm fired. I am totally fired from Halo fandom of ever. So don't die. That's, I, I, I was we don't want to say, that's, <laughs> is it freaking you out? Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Red face. <laughs> some fans like Matt enjoy Halo for the story. And some go pro. I wanted to meet the hardcore professional gamers, the money winners on MLG Pro Circuit. There's only been Halo tournaments since 2003, but some players were already earning quarter million dollar contracts. I'd heard about teams like Carbon and Final Boss. But when I found out about a clan of girl pros down in Texas led by twin sisters, I had to go. Hi! Hi. We're doing a LAN party right oh. now. Barbecues, we've got some games going on. Great projector that's got gameplay. Hot chicks to play Halo. Yes. 500 girls worldwide, also known as Pandora's Mighty Soldiers or the PMS clan. Oh yeah? The original meaning of PMS, Psycho Men Slayers. I know me at Halo. <laughs> that is our expression. It is. I wouldn't even be playing professionally or competitively if it wasn't for Halo. I used to be 60 hours a week in suit in an office, so did she. And I quit it to do gaming. It's our passion. Who are you? Psychotic gamers. <laughs> you can come play with us. It's because playing with a girl is a totally different experience. There it is. Ah. Can you say something? Give me a line. That you can't stick it. No. Oh, yeah. That one is awesome. That was, that was like perfect. Yeah. I killed her. I, I killed you. And you know what else I think we're told? We're like, where's the beer? Well, we're not just all down home in Texas. We do have some wine if you'd like. This ain't Princess she Leia. She went for that pretty quick. This is Cortana. She's going to drink a beer. Thanks for coming. And here's to Cortana. Those chicks were awesome. I just wanted to hang out there all night, but I had a plane to catch. And a date with a quiet furniture maker who had become synonymous with his own flash games based on Halo. Everyone had been mentioning his name. Bowl. Bowl. Go visit Bowl. Bowl? Hi, I'm Sweden. Hi, I'm Sweden. Hi, 
I'm Hello. looking for Andrea slash Bull. Have I found him? Yeah, that's me. Skull! Cool. You're still living at your parents' house. Yeah. <laughs> Bull is such an unassuming guy. He seems to think his games aren't worth much. But the fans talk about him and his simple but addictive games with reverence. Maybe that's because he's mastered the important questions, like how many grenades does it take to flip a warthog? Warthog launch. Yes, this is also inspired from the movie Warthog Jump by Randall Glass. So you've created this little game too. Yeah. Ooh, I, I stink at this. You stink at your own game? You know who I am and you haven't said anything? Of course. When did you put it together? Well, I've seen you in many photos. <laughs> I admire you in your Swedish ways. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. We're visiting, you know, true fanatics about this game Halo. They're all so different from each other. That's really what we're finding in this journey. They aren't just players. They're artists and game makers who give each other recognition online. Inspired by the game, they spend hours to bring the world of Halo to life, from the vehicles to the gear. I'd heard about one that could hook me up with some Molnar armor. Hi. Hi. Are you Colin? Yes, I am. Hi, Colin. I'm Jen yes. from Bungie. I believe we've met before, actually. Have we met before? Uh, very briefly at the Bungie Fan Fest at E3 2003. Do you remember the guy who was dressed up like one of the Halo Marines with a big assault rifle? Was that you? That was me. It was the one event I'd ever attended. And who could forget that gear? This is my father's studio. This is where you've built your armor. This feels fantastic in my hands. <laughs> like I said, this is just a prototype, so we've discarded this one. Um, this was also a prototype, and we are actually currently in the process of rebuilding it. The Velcro secures here and here. This is our final version of the helmet. I have made a transition from Cortana to Master Chief. Colin, I'm steaming up this helmet in here. I think I'm going to pass out. All right. <laughs> Carla? This is my father. Hi. We How do you do? Built nice the armor to together. Nice to meet you. So what do you think of your son's obsession with Halo? And how lovely that you joined him in building this. It's certainly worth doing, because he's worth doing it with my best friend. I love my dad. Some fans are regular guys who build alien hardware. And some make alien worlds, like the folks at George Lucas's Industrial Light and Magic. They're the effects wizards who've worked on films from Star Wars to Star Trek. But each day at lunch, they sneak off to play Halo. I wanted to find out why. Are you kidding? Hey! Hey! <laughs> I'm here in the halls of ILM, and you guys are playing Halo? You're having a LAN party here yeah. at work. Yes. Are you yes. going to get in trouble if anybody finds out? Oh, it's OK. We're, we're big fans of Halo, but it doesn't mean that we're along. not fans of like LucasArts games or anything. We're kind of addicted to the Halo. Oh. Does your work give you an added appreciation for this game, you think? Absolutely. The idea that we concentrate on uh, animation and performance and that we bring that sensibility to the you know art of filmmaking and then we watch Halo and we see the, the amount of detail that's been put into the art direction and the designs of like the spaceships and the characters so it's, it's kind of like playing within a movie and we appreciate that oh! I'm looking for the ultimate fan well, have I found the ultimate fan do you guys think you found the ultimate team yeah the ultimate <laughs> team now there's a heartwarming moment I'd met dozens of fans and logged thousands of miles. But in lots of ways, I'd only scratched the surface. I had time for one more stop. I'm in Dublin! Someone had told me the bare naked ladies were big Halo buffs, and I discovered they were on tour in Dublin, Ireland. Hey. Hi, I'm looking for Ed from the bare naked That's ladies. That's me. So can you translate Halo into Canadian for me? Yes, absolutely. Um, the, thing, the thing that makes it difficult uh, playing Halo in Canada is, of course, we have no handguns. <laughs> so it's all melee weapons. The bonus is free health care. If your Master Chief <laughs> goes down... down. Thank you for joining us for the kickoff of our tour of Ireland. I, I got contacted a while ago uh, by some folks at a, a, a small upstart video game company uh, called Microsoft. And they make a game called Halo. What's your favorite line from the game? Favorite line from the game? Bet you can't stick it. That's a good one. 
rare is the game where the voice acting doesn't bother you. Right. You know, that doesn't stick out and bother you. I guess what I like about Halo is that uh, it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't bug you. I'm going to put that on my resume. Is that okay? Yeah. Because Jen, I'm the voice of Cortana. I won't bug you. You're kidding. (laughs) Wow. You're really the voice of Cortana. Look how excited I just got. <laughs> like, oh my god, you're that person. I was supposed to recognize her from her voice, but she plays a translucent five inch high video game character. What did I learn on my journey? Our voice is being heard by so many fans out there. More than seven million of them. Artists, filmmakers, women warriors, and full-on Spartans. Some play Slayer, and some construct Zanzibar entirely out of blocks. But each builds a little piece of the game. Every time they play, they bring all that history with them. They do the work. I just voice the character. But each time I go out there, they're waiting. That's what they told me. And they wouldn't make a girl a promise they can't keep.